An amazing all-electric hypercar has been unveiled at the Geneva Auto Show. Paninfarina Batista, uh, and as you guys know, I made a separate video about all the best electric cars that have been unveiled at Geneva Auto Show. But there are two cars that I wanted to make a separate video about, and Panina, Paninfarina is one of them. So let me tell you all about it, uh, this really, really exciting project, and the car that's going on the market next year. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news so that you can only catch right here if you click on that subscribe button. It's in red, it's free, and that way you become a part of this amazing community. So go ahead and do it. Uh anytime right now would be good as well anyway so let's talk about this this is the moment where this car was unveiled now as you remember I've been following this band brand pretty much since they've announced that, that they're going to come up with their all electric uh, um, hypercar I've had their CEO Michael Persky um, quite a few times on my channel this is the time that I uh, caught up with them um, uh, during the LA auto show you can see all three I think or four interviews that I've done now, I was privileged to see that car, um, and here, here it is, by the way, let me just show you guys um, um, this picture right here. Um, and I, I was privileged to see this car when it was just like an alpha prototype in person during the Monterey Car Week. Um, there were no phones or cameras allowed, and it was really cool. They have changed the design a little bit since then. Now, I can't really judge whether it's that different from what I've seen in person. I see some changes. I absolutely loved that version in person. So I don't know if I will love this version in person, you know, when I see it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to be in Geneva, even though I thought I could. But it looks pretty good. Like, so there's, this is what it looks like from. By the way, if you don't know what Paninfarina is, you know, Paninfarina is the design house. I've always designed you know, amazing cars for Ferrari, Alfa Romeo, and a few other, uh, uh, you know, exotic cars. So this time around, they decided that they're going to spin off this company called Automobili Paninfarina um, and uh, produce their own hypercar. And so I love this one, by the way. So this is kind of a two-tone. Like, let me know in the comment section if you like this, um, this uh, um, a picture of it. Here's another one with the two-tone, and I think there's one more. This is from the back. You know, that reminds me of i8 on the back, especially when I saw it in person. Absolutely, really, really like that. And this one is in blue. So uh, the one that I saw on uh, the, the, in Monterey Car Week, uh, it was in blue. And this is like their official photo that you've probably seen already um, everywhere. Pretty mean looking car. Now, uh, the powertrain is actually going to be designed by Remats. Um, as you know, Remats have their own Concept 2 now that's being presented at the um, at the Geneva Auto Show, but I mean, it was unveiled before. Uh, but, and of course, I have an interview with Mate Rimats. Uh, um, this uh, this is when I also caught up with him, and that's his concept to behind him. Um, you can also see it on my channel. Um, now, the and, and here's the inside look of the uh, Paninfarina Batista. It used to be called PF0. That was a working name, but now Paninfarina Batista. So I have not seen this car inside, so this is pretty exciting for me to see um, some of the pictures from the inside. Um, and just like I said, Remax will make the battery and the powertrain, and I believe there will be some Rivian technology as well, they've announced it. So they got pretty good partnerships going overall. But uh, let me tell you about the, uh, the specs. Of course, before I move any further, I should probably remind you that this video and this channel is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla that have their Roadster uh, second generation coming out with uh, interesting specs as well. But for now, go ahead and grab the discount code from the description of that video so you can save yourselves a few bucks and maybe you'll be able to afford both on all the savings. Um, all right, cool. So, you know, the, and this is, by the way, another picture of what it looks like inside. Well, you know, for a sports car, for a hyper car, that's pretty damn cool if you ask me. So, let me show you some of the videos that they also did from the unveiling. But meanwhile, let me talk about the specs. First of all, 900 horsepower. 900. No, did I say 900? No, I'm sorry. 1,900 horsepower. 1,900 of horsepower. That's insane. Zero to 60 
under two seconds. That's that's the Tesla Roadster kind of numbers, and this is pretty much unreal. I remember when I did zero to 60 in like 2.4 in a P100D, and seriously, I was nauseous uh, and had a headache for like the rest of the day. So this is like back that. Um, $2.2 million though, I have to say, uh, a little pricey, but I think this is where you're not just buying the technology, you're also buying uh, the commodity. I mean, they're only going to make 150 of those, period. They're going to start production in 2020. Uh, 280 mile uh, range on that Remax battery. So pretty impressive, though. I don't know if this is the type of car that you will go a long distance trip in, but that probably doesn't hurt. Uh, it will have 120 kilowatt hour from Remax, 217 mile top speed. Um, so all of these specs are like really, really impressive. And um, I gotta tell you, it's, I, from the moment when I when I kind of uh, heard about them, from the moment when I met their team and saw their car and seeing how much effort and passion they have for uh, for the for the for the brand, for, I, I mean, I just I just knew these guys are gonna do something special. And they have two more cars that are coming out, I think later this year that they're announcing. Uh, I believe one of them is going to be four-door uh, sedan, so I'm looking forward to that. But obviously, these guys are going to be a premium brand, okay? This is definitely kind of a, uh, a car for people who are into Ferraris and Lamborghinis and so forth. But because, I mean, as, as always, you guys know that uh, I love these stories because this is just making all electric cars awesome, right? Basically, because this is not just a great electric uh, hypercar. This is just a, a great hypercar, and I think this is why I love these stories so much. All right, well, let's talk about positive and let's talk about negative. The, the positive, of course, is it's finally been unveiled. Uh, it's finally is on the market. People can now order it. Um, you can see how beautiful it is. You can, and, and you know, it, it's it's awesome to see all of kind of a best of designs uh, of Ferrari and other amazing brands, except for it has the guts of an electric car and not any electric car, right? It's Remats. Remats has made already their name um, doing the Concept 1 and now the Concept 2 is coming out. So it's it's not an unknown name. And obviously Rivian, the up, uh, you know, the up and coming brand that's already made a pretty good name. So this is just a good, you know, collaboration between technologies. Um, let me know what do you guys think about the way the car looks. Uh, obviously, let me go back to the picture. Obviously, it is... Um, here. Oh, actually, maybe let maybe I should do this one. Yeah. Uh, you know, let me know what, what, what you think about the look. Um, I, I personally like it, but again, I think it's a matter of um, matter of taste. Um, and of course, uh, uh, the fact that, you know, there are more cars that are going to be coming using this technology. This is a new sort of company. I mean, a kind of new, kind of not new uh, company on the market. So I'm just looking forward to more uh, models that they are going to be making. And of course, the fact that it just kicks butt of all electric, uh, of all the gas cars that are out there already. Now, of course, the negative is a price tag. Uh, some people are saying, well, you know, you know, you can get a Tesla with pretty much the same specs, Tesla second generation Roadster. <coughs> well, first of all, I think this one is going to be uh, first to the, mar to, to the market. Secondly, uh, yes, you can probably go zero to 60 even faster in a, in a second generation Roadster for, I don't know, one seventh or eighth of the price. But that's not why people buy these cars, right? This is not why people uh, buy an exotic car like this. People buy them to as, as a collection item. Uh, they buy them for just, you know, uh, just because nobody else has one, right? This is a very unique car. So I don't, I don't think this is a price thing for me. As a matter of fact, if I, I like the fact that there are also hyper cars that are electric that can go for just as much money if not more as the exotic old gas cars and of course this is you know and you know i, I probably should you know go back to positives again and i forget that that, that thing is going to play again but uh you know that that it's also going to push other uh, companies like ferraris and lamborghinis and and the bugattis of the world to actually say hey we should start thinking about this. And a lot of them do, you know, obviously Lamborghini is part of a Volkswagen group. So they're thinking about it. Um, uh, Austin Martin is developing their own and, and a couple of other brands uh, uh, that, 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 are, that are definitely moving forward because of, of this type of stuff. So again, hard to come up with negatives. Um, if only I would have to name one, it's going to be the price, but 
Let me know what you guys think. I mean, obviously, this is an interesting sort of an exotic, uh, an example of, of what's possible. Um, and by the way, let me give a quick shout out to one of my newer Patreons, Luca Avila. Thank you so much for joining my Patreon community. Thank you to all of my Patreons for supporting and contributing to this independent YouTube channel. Um, that's the only place where you can watch me live. Um, and if you want to contribute, please uh, browse to the description of this video. There's a link there to my Patreon page. Please join and support uh, this YouTube channel. Thank you so much, guys, for that. And boom, there's the URL as well. All right. I am looking forward to all of your comments about this amazing car. And I will, of course, continue keeping my eye on it. And maybe we'll see it in person at some point. Other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.